places that we can go to until we've been to all of them, right? We're running, we're running out of steam here. We're, we're, London's not done. London, this will be one that we come back to once they've uh, improved some of the cities and stuff. London, the, the London Eye, I'm told by Perian Flax, is, it looks like it's been smushed into the ground. It's like a 2D texture. You know what I mean? That's not how I want to experience London in this game. I want it to be gloriously rendered by hand. Yeah, London is still being worked on. It looks like it. It looks like it. Is it worth 60 pounds? I mean, if you like this kind of stuff, absolutely, yeah. This game is groundbreaking in a lot of ways um, and beautiful. I mean, if you like to just chill and fucking look around and soar around in a plane and stuff, I'd say absolutely this game is worth it. Uh, if you're looking to um, crash your plane into the side of buildings and uh, get high scores and shit like that, maybe this game is still for you. I don't know, but uh, I, I'd say maybe just play GTA or something like that. I don't know. Is it Happy Scenic Day? Please, yeah. God, let it be Happy Reno Scenic Day. It is Barack Obama. It was yesterday. We picked it up yesterday. We've, we've got it. I drove it this morning. Hey, I drove it this morning. Okay, I popped its cherry. It's got it's got Bluetooth in it. Okay, I hooked up my phone to the stereo system and I listened to Ghostface Killer Artist Radio in my fucking car whilst doing it doing an errand. There's no looking back now. There is no looking back. This car is the car of the future. Oh, man. Real good. Real good. It was nice. It felt great. The future is now. I like my new car. I like it a lot. It's got some nice features that my old car did not have. I feel like I've finally joined this century with my new car. No? Go to Scunthorpe. Have I said happy birthday to Dowie yet? No, I haven't. Dowie, is it your birthday today? Happy birthday, Dowie! Hey, it's Dowie's birthday, everybody! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> woo! 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 You know what, Dowie? You know what your birthday present present is? Tim the Tatman got a win on Fall Guys. Happy birthday! Yay! Woo! All right! Wee! Wow! Shit! Woo! Wow! That is crazy. That is crazy. Hey, um, Barack Obama, thanks so much for the bits. That's a big mucho appreciado for me. Thanks very much. Thanks. Um, listen. Uh, where, where, do we, where do we want? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go see if I can find my grandma's old house first. We're, we're on our way to... Not here. We need to go... Aha! Victoria International? We can probably fly from Victoria. Eh, we can fly from Victoria. It's fine. I think it's like down here somewhere. Where does the ferry come in? It's like down, it's not, it's, if Victoria's there, Vancouver International, Boundary Bay, Pitt Meadows, Abbotsford, I might need to look this up actually, hang on, give me two seconds, um, let me open, uh, <laughs> Bing, let me open Bing to, <laughs> to see where this is, okay, hang on a second. Um, what we're looking for is not, we're not looking for Jersey. We're not actually looking for Jersey. We are looking for, uh, there, that's what we're looking for. Okay. That's not it. That is not it. Is it? No, it isn't. Okay. What, what we're looking for here is Victoria. Yes. South Oak Bay. We're looking for, um, where is it? Ah, okay, it's up here. It's up around here. So, waterfront, the Port Sydney Marina. So where is this, roughly? 
This is the fairy. This is where the fairy comes in, right? It comes in here, I think. Is this it? The fairy ramp? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so... We're up here somewhere. Or down here. No, are we down here? Fuck, it's been a while, actually. It has been a little while. I think it's, like, up here. Kayak launch. Raincoast conservation. I'll tell you what. I'll know where we are if we can get over Sydney, okay? They lived close to Sydney. Sydney. Coal Island. So where is this? It's like... Schwartz Bay. Okay, so if we if we take off from Victoria and we head up north here... It's like up here. Ah, oh, it's like really close to here. Victoria International. Ah, uh, that's right. They did live kind of close to the airport, actually. Okay. <clears throat> we'll take off from here and we'll take this one again. Yes? Okay, and I'll show you where they lived. Try to show you where they lived. I might have to keep this open on another screen just to... Ah, uh, you know what? I should be fine, actually. We're just gonna head north from the airport, right? Pick a spot. I picked it. Okay, ready? We'll have to change the date and time and stuff around too, right? No? Have I been to the Red Square in Moscow? No, I have not. Do not, do not DDoS my grandma. She doesn't even live there anymore, okay? She doesn't even live on Vancouver Island at all anymore. She used to, though. My parents used to as well, actually. Their current location is top secret. You'll never know. But they did live, um, they did live in uh, Victoria for some time. For like five years or something. They're in a secret bunker. Yeah, that's right. They are in a, um... They are in a... They are in a bunker. <clears throat> Question for anyone that doesn't really like sweets or desserts. Any recipes for cakes, pies that are less on the sugary side and more spicy and tart? This is Dodger who wants to know four minutes ago on Twitter. Less sugary, but a bit more spicy and tart. Okay, I'm ready to fly. We're gonna adjust it. We don't want to fly at night. Although, you know, it's probably pretty nice at night. We're gonna go external here. Let's change the time of day. Let's get, like, scattered clouds. Let's get few clouds. Okay, few clouds is a bit better. Actually, this is a beautiful time of day, isn't it? Okay. Alright, so we need to head north when we're in the air, right? Off we go! Off we go! We're going to find my grandma's old house. They're gonna see if we can find it. <clears throat> Fruit mince pies. Ginger cake. What about, like, um, spicy banana bread? That's not too sugary. Revving up your engine, trying to find your grandma's house. Old house. Old house. Okay. I'm kind of like somewhat familiar with the area, but I just need, I need to get up in the air, right? To get like a better view. We're going to be heading over. We're going to head up north. And we're going to try to find Sydney. Sydney is the town that they lived close to. It's like a, it's like a quiet little town on Vancouver Island, close to Victoria. Um, I mean, it's a, maybe it's a bit bigger now, but they used to live very close to there. So as a kid, I would go there. Um, they used to have like a nice little like store that you could buy like comics and magazines and, and toys and stuff at, which is great. There's like a nice harbor for you to put your boat in. I think this is Sydney over here. Sydney by the sea. There's like a nice bakery and stuff. Uh, it's a really nice part of the world actually. Really beautiful. And there's a big ferry terminal like over here somewhere as well. Okay. Or is this Sydney by the sea? It doesn't look like... Some of this stuff doesn't seem like it's rendered at all. Like some of it looks like very 2D, right? Look at all like the... Look at all like where all the boats and stuff are. Nuts, eh? Alright. So I think that this isn't quite Sydney. I think this is the... I think over here is the ferry terminal, right? Icon yes. My okay. We're close. We're close. Okay. We're going to slow Icon right Alpha down. Sierra, X -ray Golf, Sierra, frequency change. So when you take the ferry from... Approach, Icon Alpha, Sierra, from uh, Golf, from, from British Columbia to Victoria... 
the ferry stops here at this at this ferry depot, right? So my grandparents lived. I don't think we'll be able to find their house exactly, but we'll try. Try our best. My grandparents, my grandpa built a house in here. Okay, it's like in here somewhere. Okay. Let's pretend that his house is like this one here. Okay? It's like probably here. So you have to like drive up from... So you get off the ferry. And then it would you just like hang a left. Come up here. Drive up around here past this marina. He used to have a boat down here. You drive like up into here. And this is like all a wooded area. Look, it's not it's not like textured well. See, there's meant to be like trees popping up here and stuff too. These guys look like they have some solar panels and stuff here, right? Okay? And then that that would be around where my grandparents' house was, okay? But this whole area is elevated, okay? So you can imagine Okay, their living room was on the second floor of their house because it was like kind of built into the side of a rock. So you could sit in their living room on a couch look directly out a window and your view was this this area here so you'd see the ferry coming through here to get to um to get to the ferry depot but it was like really far away but man it was beautiful really really nice it's just like such a nice nice part of the nice part of the world so yeah they lived here that's just where he, he retired but he sadly passed away in like the 90s i was like 14 or 15 when he passed away it was pretty sad but he was a um, he was a big military man. He was uh, he was in the military for a long time. This is Sydney over here. So you have to drive all the way around, and then you can get into Sydney. Sydney's a lot bigger now than it was in the 80s. It was really really small and sleepy in the 80s when I was when I was young. I used to come out to visit. I used to get um, I used to come out here for like two weeks in the summer. Um, my my mom would just like bundle me onto a plane and send me over. <laughs> Which is kind of weird uh, when you're like nine, ten years old flying uh, alone. But um, but like the Air Canada staff were very helpful. I don't know if that's a common thing to, to have done. It happened anyway. No. I I mean I think I'm fine as a result. Like I, it hasn't affected me much. You know, it hasn't affected me that much at all. Like I I feel like fairly well rounded and stuff. No. Yeah, it was it was good fun actually. I had a I had a I had a, a, a good childhood. I, I did. I had a lot of fun. I think um wait, I don't know if this is actually Sydney because uh yeah, no, this is it. I think this is it. This is like the the main road. There's like a whole bunch of it must be like around here actually. There's lots of houses and stuff, but then equally there was uh some decent uh, it's really built up here now actually. Much more so than when I was uh, when I was a kid. It was very very small, but it was cool because like you got to go visit your grandparents. Uh, it, like when I went out to visit, my grandma would rent me. My grandma rented me a Sega Genesis so that I could play it for two weeks while I was out there. I never owned a Sega Genesis, by the way. I was a Nintendo guy, but she rented me a full Sega Genesis with like Sonic and a bunch of games. That was awesome. It was a really fun trip, actually. It's like one of the best summers. I got to learn how to use a knife and stuff. My grandpa taught me how to throw a knife and get it stuck into a tree. It was like a combat knife and shit. It was awesome. He wanted to send me home with it. I don't know what he was thinking. Like, what? I don't know where I was going to put that. Like, in a backpack or something? Like, just trying to get through airport security with a massive combat knife? So my grandma was like, no, nah, you better just leave it here and just use it next time you come out or whatever. And when he passed away... He passed away and um, he left like a bunch of stuff to my mom. Is my my mom's uh, my mom's dad uh, on my mom's side of the family? Uh, when when he passed away, we found like uh, above. He had this den with a TV in it, and um, he used to just like he had like all of his like plaques and awards and shit from being in the military. He had like some ceremonial like um, you know muskets and rifles and stuff, and then above the TV. There was just like a like a fluorescent sort of um, you know like tube light with like the plastic sheet that goes like 
uh, underneath it to sort of like, you know, not expose the full light or whatever. And nobody thought anything of it. It was just like, whatever, it's just a light above the TV or whatever. But it, there was actually this like secret shaft that was like, it almost looked like a chimney or something. It went all the way up to the top of the house and inside it was like fucking tons of guns, okay? Shotguns, rifles, like all like in perfect condition. Like he used to just fucking clean them and like maintain them and stuff. Like a million guns. And my grandma's like, uh, you guys want some guns? They're like, nope. <laughs> so my dad just like took them all to the, there's like an RCMP office close by. <laughs> my dad just like handed them all in. They're like, whoa, where'd you get all these? They thought we were like, like, uh, like cartel drug runners or something. It was hilarious. Yeah, free guns. There was tons of them. I'm telling you. I'm not even joking. There was like 20, 25 guns in there. Rifles, shotguns, everything. It was crazy. He was an interesting man. Uh, it was pretty cool, though. It's a shame. Well, I mean, I don't think my dad wanted to keep a lot of guns, you know, like at the, uh, at the thing. But yeah, look at this. It's fucking beautiful around here, no? Wouldn't you love to live somewhere like this? It's like very, very old, you know, like lots of, lots of people retire here. It's like a lot of old people. Like my grandparents had a whole bunch of friends that retired out here with them that they, you know, worked with or were friends with and stuff. I wish SnowRunner would rip off the Death like Stranding Road building. The September 3rd date for Junkyard Sim is now just the prologue. God, they're dragging their feet on it. It's just At the prologue. Rate, the Sim Alaska will be out before it. Am I right? No? Less than 3 to underscore? Hang on a second. I have to refresh my uh, activity feed. It's, uh, it's out of date. And it also doesn't seem to be loading. Uh, so I'm not sure who just donated. Whoever it was, thank you very much. Ah, okay, hang on a second. It might be coming through now. We may have liftoff. Yes. Christmas Crustacean, thanks for the 10 bucks. I appreciate it. Yoda Corona, thanks so much for the donation as well. Mucho appreciado, thanks. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, it, it, I think Dude Sim Alaska will be out before that game ever makes it. I'll still play the prologue, though. What is it? September 3rd. That's pretty soon. That is pretty soon. It was not you. Let's keep the stories coming. Well, I need stuff to, like, jog my memory. I can't just think up stories, like, on the fly, you know? Flight sims are bourgeois decadence. Train sims are the true proletariat choice. I'm a big boy. I agree. I agree. Why, why drive a train when you can fly a plane, you know? That, to me, is crazy. This is fucking stunning, though. This, I, I don't know how they've done this. It just looks fucking awesome. It looks so fucking real. It's crazy. Even my wife, who was, like, pretending not to be impressed. Oh, and I went in yesterday. She was like, holy crap, that looked awesome. I was like, I know. It's amazing. I've been everywhere. I've been on trips. <laughs> I've been looking around. Can you crash for the LOLs? I mean, yeah, it's not that funny, though. Look, you just like... I mean, we're going to go somewhere else anyway, so... You don't even see the crash. It just goes to a black screen, see? That's it. That's all that happens. Right. Where to next? Grandma's house covered. We've done it. LOL. We did a crash. So funny. <laughs> I know. I know. That was hilarious, wasn't it? That was a good one. Apparently, Southampton looks pretty good. We still haven't done Bristol. We still haven't done Bristol. We meant to do Bristol. We were going to do Bristol to Jersey, weren't we? We could do Southampton, though. We could check out Southampton. Southampton's, like, kind of nice. I'm, I don't want to do London yet because it's not done. I'd, I'd rather do London when they've actually finished it. They've done the assets for it and shit like that, right? Australia. Apparently, Sydney is not done either. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look too good. Southampton to Jersey. Jersey to New Jersey. That's going to take way too long. Jersey to New Jersey is, is, not, is not what I want to do. What about if we fly over, like, the Pyrenees or something? The Alps or, so, or some shit like that. No? That could be good. We did Rome, right? We did Venice. Venice and Rome. Oh, where's Corsica? Chat, where's Corsica? 
Let's do Corsica so I can say that I've done it. Malta. Iceland. Stockholm, Sweden. No, Corsica. Under France. Isn't Corsica like... I always thought Corsica was like around here somewhere. Is it not? That is it. All right, okay. So I was right all along. Okay, what's the best way to approach Corsica to get the full Corsica experience? <clears throat> do we want to approach it from far away or do we just want to take off from Corsica International Airport and experience that way? St. Catherine or Porretta or Campo del Oro from Rome. San Guisto. Florence could be kind of good. Rome is here, right? That's a long way, isn't it? That is a long way. It's just a lot of water travel as well. I say let's take off from Fagari Sud Course. And let's make our way over to what? St. Catherine? What side of Corsica is the most beautiful? West or east? <coughs> we did Rome yesterday. Are we are we west or east? Uh, both. West. All right. Let's arrive at St. Catherine. This is going to be a 44 minute flight apparently. All right. I think let's go for uh, one of these bad boys. Let's go for the Textron Aviation Cessna Citation Longitude for this. It is now a seven minute flight. Perfect. You can fly across all of Corsica in seven minutes with a jet. <coughs> That's much better, right? You can enable crashes in the settings? I don't think you can actually. I don't think you should either. I think you should exercise some restraint when it comes to that. This game is not a crashing simulator. This is a, a romantic scenery admiring simulator. <laughs> Big Jets, no regrets, yeah. <clears throat> we did uh, Chernobyl yesterday as well, yeah, that was good. Okay. Let me consult my map here. Has the has the map updated with the flight path? Yes, it has. Okay, perfect. That's good. Okay, let's get an external shot here. We are cleared for takeoff. Uh, this is uh, Roger Dodger McDodger uh, on vector 5329er heading off of the... Uh, we are heading southwest off the uh, runway. We're just making our way down the uh, runway right now at uh, quite a frightening speed. Uh, we are about to lift off. We have lifted off in a jet. Uh, tower, roger that. We have lifted off. We're going to do some uh, flippity flapping. We're going to clear the airspace before we turn around. <laughs> Time to retract Hickory the flaps. Tower, Cessna, Alpha, Sierra, X-ray, Golf, Sierra, frequency change. Okay. Ayacho let's... approach, Cessna, Alpha, Sierra, X-ray, Golf, Sierra is type Cessna, C-702 miles southwest of Figury. Request flight following. Figury. Cessna, Alpha, Sierra, X-ray, Golf, Sierra, Ayacho approach. Call All right, here we go. Corsica. What are some of the kind of places that we would like to look at in Corsica? X-ray, Golf, Sierra. It looks nice so far. It's looking pretty good. Ah, uh, that's a that's a big niner for me. Copy Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Overspeed. 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 We have to we got to slow her down a little bit. Marseille Center, Cessna Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf, Sierra 7,400 no. feet. Over Cessna speed. Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf, Sierra Marseille Center, continue as planned. I like the jets, but I don't at the same time. It's hard to, like, keep them at the right speed and stuff, you know? Easy 435 feet, climb and maintain 8,800 feet. 
8,800. Eight thousand eight hundred. Okay, let's let this guy take over so I can play Going around to the drone. One two one decimal zero five Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. Landing here. Landing. Oh, Yacht approach Cessna Landing. Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra. Nine thousand three hundred feet. Landing here. Landing here. Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra. Oh, Yacht approach. Continue as planned. Oh wow, this is nice. Look at this. Landing here. Okay, let's get some clouds in here. Let's get a few clouds. Oh. Landing here. Landing here. Landing gear, 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 landing gear. Yeah, I know I can hear it as well. What's the AI doing? Landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear. Why do you keep saying landing gear? Landing gear, landing gear. Landing gear, 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 landing gear. Hey, look at this place though. Landing gear, beautiful. There's like nothing here. Landing gear, landing gear, landing gear. It's not very built up, eh? Landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear. Oh, finally. He's given up. He's given up on the landing gear. Landing gear. Landing here. Ah, oh, this is nice. Look at this. This is beautiful around here. This is going to be another holiday destination for me and the fam, I think, at some point. My wife wants to go to Corsica, so... We'll go check it out. Look, I can do I can do some homework before we go. And then when we get there, I can be like, I've been already. I've already flown over there before. Just take the jet. Yeah. We could give some spoilers. Exactly. It looks so nice with the clouds on, no? Looks a bit more realistic. What about some snow? What about high-level clouds? There's a couple of high-level clouds there. What about live weather? Oh my god, look at the live weather chat. There's not a fucking cloud in the sky. That can't be right. Or can it? Oh no, there's a couple of clouds over there in the distance. Jeez. Is that one road? Uh, maybe, yeah could be if you want to get an idea for what's roads and and what's not um you just put it to nighttime and then you can see the lights right so some of this is roads and some of it is not there's a couple of lights yeah it's pretty isn't it yeah it's nice you want to do like a like a sun a sunset flight lights half on this is like the gta 5 mode right where like this where, where like things are starting to like light up a bit and but the sun is like is still out oh, look at that this is how we did norway yesterday it was good that's the one isn't it yeah that's right oh look there's a like a kind of a like a city over there how, how far are we from our destination is this it oh no we still got a ways to go. What place is this? Anybody familiar with Corsica? Where are we? Where's that? Over there. Ajacio. 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 Is that a place that we should be going to look at with a smaller plane? We can cut through this whole this whole place with the jet, scope it out, and then we could go back and visit some points of interest with the little with the little water landing plane. Ajaxio. That's how it's pronounced apparently. Look at down here. What's this place? 
It's like a fucking beautiful lake. Can you can you go out to these places? Man, you know what I would like to do? I want to stay like at a hotel just like out in the middle of nowhere on like a really fucking beautiful lake. Like I bet you there's a nice hotel down there, right? Like something luxurious, you know? Maybe I'll take my wife there for like our one of our wedding anniversaries or something, you know? Sorry, you know you can't? All right, okay. My bad. My bad. Here I was thinking maybe you could do that, but Lake Garda. Don't take the kids. I'd have to take the kids as well. We take our kids everywhere. We're those kind of parents, you know? We don't leave them with people. We don't want to risk leaving them with people. We just take them everywhere we go. We don't really care, you know? Let the kids fly the jet. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Yeah, I think my daughter would love to fly a plane. You know? Weird parents. Well, you know. Terry will leave, though. I, we won't take Terry with us. To a fancy hotel. When Terry goes on vacation, he likes it a certain way, you know? He doesn't want to go to a hotel. How old are my kids? My daughter is four, and my son is uh, eight. But they're turning five and nine, like, soon. Five, five in, my daughter will be five in, at the end of October, and my son will be nine in December. Terry's not hibernating now. He's still too small. And anyway, it's the summer. He wouldn't hibernate now. Terry wants to get drunk in Ibiza. I've never been to... Maybe we should fly to Ibiza. See what it's like. Maybe we... we You've got to do cosplay for that one, though. i got to get, like, some shades and, like, a straw hat. And i got to get re real fucking... Real fucking drunk as well. Maybe we do, like, a night stream. A special night stream where we can have a, a party flight down to Ibiza. Would you like that? A flower necklace, yeah. With some house music on. We have to get some Ministry of Sound on there. Let's see if we can find something good. Uh, do they still do the Ministry Ministry of Sound? Ministry of Ministry of Sound. Yeah, they do. Dance Nation Ministry of Sound. What's this one? Ibiza Anthems. That's got to be a good one, right? I know this one.
Am I am I following the A303? No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know where the A303 is right now. I've lost it. Uh, Roger that. I am uh, en route to Southampton Stonehenge. Tower, Icon Alpha, Sierra, X-ray Golf, Sierra, frequency change. Wrong way. Southampton approach, Icon Alpha, Sierra, X-ray Golf, Sierra, you sure? type Icon A5, three miles north. I feel like it's like up here somewhere. Request flight following. Like north, north, northwest, Alpha, maybe more northeast. It's near the main road. Okay, what main road are we talking about here? Where's the A303? Roger that. Uh, go to the harbor. It's near Copy Salisbury. Yeah, I know. Uh, is it? I guess it is kind of... No, wait. I don't think it's near Salisbury. Maybe it is. Uh, you know what? It, it might be, actually. Salisbury is in that knack of the woods, isn't it? I've driven through there a couple of times. I was fine. I was fine driving through there. No problems. It's like 10 miles off. It's more west. It's like out here somewhere. Look. It's like straight ahead. It's probably not uh, done, though, right? gonna look like a bunch of rocks like jammed into the ground north of Salisbury okay so where's Salisbury on the map what do these codes mean what are all these codes Okay, where is Salisbury in relation to where I'm at right now? I think it's like over here somewhere, right? It's like around here, kind of where I'm heading. Yeah. Okay, we're heading to it, apparently. All right, we've got some we've got some good altitude here, so we should be able to spot the site. You're right, though. It is kind of by a main road. There's like a little, like, uh, ticket office and stuff. Just fly right to the moon. In this thing, you can't. You can't do it. It will take us a little while in this plane, I guess. But this is the best way to view the beautiful English countryside. Look at this. You gotta love the English countryside, no? It's like one of my favorite countrysides. It's in my top 10 best of all time countrysides. It is one of the best. Three thousand five. Okay, we're gonna dr we're gonna lose some altitude, just a little bit. You have a pier and everything in Wigan. Lucky. Wish we had all that. Okay, where is this that I'm flying over right now? Salisbury's big. That's that's not Salisbury. I don't think we're close to Salisbury right now. It's like coming up. So on the map here, Bristol is like around here, right? This is like, this is Bristol. So, um, I think we're still heading kind of the right way here. I think we're still kind of going the right way. We should try to find, um, we should try to find the motorway. Oh, look at this. Look at all, look at all this down here. Look at all these, like, little fucking rivers and shit. That's awesome. Beautiful around here, isn't it? Oh. There's Middle Wallop Army. Hey. Uh, there's.
here's uh, Chill Bolton. Are we close? We gotta be going. We gotta be getting close now, yeah? Follow those rivers. I would love to. They are beautiful. We should go to Bath, too. Have you ever seen Bath before? It's fucking awesome. You live in Bath. Okay, Santikins, we'll come in. Hey, look, there's Dale K. <laughs> look at him. Dale K is in the distance. Where is he? What's he doing? I see him. We need to go a bit west. Okay. All right, we'll fly over to Bath when we're done at Stonehenge. Because it's like, it's just like a hop, skip, and a jump away, right? Maybe we could go look at Longley Forest as well. We could go. We could go check out Center Parks. See if it's done. Okay, Santa Kins, we'll be right over. Okay, look out your window and see if you can see us in the in the air. Longley is between Stonehenge and Bath. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. I've been there a couple of times. It's a good one. It's a nice one. Go to the Yorkshire Moors. I don't know what that is. Should I go? I need to lose a little bit of altitude. And we also need to discover, we need to find like some sort of town that I recognize, right? Middle Wallop Army doesn't do it for me. I don't know where that is. What about Wookie Hole? Cheddar Gorge. You wanna go to those places? Cheddar Gorge, okay. Where is Stonehenge in relation to Middle Wallop Army? West. Okay. Oh, I see it. It's there, isn't it? That's it. That's it right there. Okay. I'm moving in. That's it. That's the one. It's got to be it. Dive. Okay. That's better. That's better. We're not so high up now. Does Giant's Causeway look any good? I don't know. We haven't been. That's in Ireland, right? Here it is. This is it, isn't it? It's like right over here. Boscombe down. Icon X-ray Golf Sierra. Contact Boscombe approach on 130.0. Yeah. We found it, boys. Golf Here it is, look. Boscom approach icon Alpha Sierra X ray golf Sierra 2200 feet. Icon Alpha Sierra X ray golf. You can't Sierra, see it. Boscom it's right here, look. That's Al it. Stonehenge. Do -do 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 Stonehenge, get your snappers ready to take some pictures. It's not rendered, guys. They haven't rendered it in. They've got the ticket office there, but they don't have the stones. 
They don't have the stones for it. Someone stole all the rocks. Shit. Wait, is Dale K over there right now? Right. Dale is there. Okay, I'm heading over there now. Dale's on the move, though. Dale's on the move fast. Dale is not there. No, I don't think he is, you know. I feel like we're not in the right place. It's going to be hard to find without, like, a point of interest, right? Okay, hang on. Let me consult my Bing map here. So we want... My holiday just started. Stonehenge. Here's a little something for your family to buy an ice cream. Cheers. Okay, so Stonehenge is... Oh, shit. Portsmouth. I think we passed it somehow. Look, it's like right here. Salisbury. I think we're like far past it now. We gotta go back a bit. Where is this place? Um, the what was the place that? Okay, hang on a second. So if I look at like that there, and I look at I, I get the old map out. Uh, maybe we're close to it actually. I think we're like really close to it. I think it's just over to the west a little bit. It's oh, it's just over to the west. So we should see Salisbury like. Here, hang on a sec. So Salisbury should be like... We gotta go more west. If we're in the right spot... Uh, you know what? I think this is Salisbury here, isn't it? Because Salisbury is quite big. And I don't see like a bigger city back here. Boscombe down. Where is this? Where is Boscombe Down? Andover. Shrewton. Upaven. What's this one here? Boscombe Down. You live in Andover. Oh, maybe this isn't Salisbury. This is a pretty big airport. Where the hell are we right now? We're in the right sort of area, but I just, I don't know like where, I don't know where it is. You know, it's just gonna be like a shitty texture on the ground. It's not gonna be like, they haven't done it, right? Boss come down. Go west. Yeah, we're going west. But I don't think this is it, though. Because... Oh, uh, maybe that... Wait. That looks pretty big. That could be Salisbury there, right? Well, look. If you're ever interested in visiting Stonehenge for real... Look at how... Look at how, like, out in the middle of nowhere it is. It's crazy. Follow the A303. <laughs> Wait, is this the A303 that we're above right now? Boscombe down? Follow this road. What, this one here? This is the A303? This is not. No, the north road. here so is this actually Salisbury then so if this is Salisbury yeah this could be Salisbury you know it looks very Salisbury to me all right so if we're in Salisbury well, then we want to go basically it's like north of Salisbury okay there's the Nether Avon army. Oh, 
Oh, we don't need to go. Oh, uh, maybe it's a little bit west. It's like, I think on this heading we'll hit it, right? What's this big roundabout here? It's the north. So what else is near here? Salisbury, let me see. Wilton Shopping Village. Okay, so I think that this is Little, little Durnford coming up. And we've got Old Sarum here as well. And then we'll have Lower Woodford coming up. You know what? Maybe not, actually. I don't know if this is Durnford. It's still a ways up. What's this? What was this th Netheraven army base? I can't see that on the map either, chat. West. Oh, it's north from here. If that's Salisbury, then we have to keep going north. It's not west. I don't know if that is even Salisbury, though. It's right there. It's not there. What are you talking about? Okay, let's see where we are right now. We are... I think we've gone way too far, by the way. I think we're too far now. I don't know where we are, by the way. We're super lost. Like, I can't tell. I wish this map was better. You know? Like, this map sucks. It doesn't tell you shit. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just get this. Halton's Park, home of Peppa Pig World. We missed that. We missed that one. So, it's like... Oh, you know what? Salisbury is here. This is where Salisbury is. So, that means that we're, we're close to it right now. If not, like, right over it. Is that it? Oh, fuck. Okay, that's it. That's got to be it, right? All right. Got it. Got it. I've, I've seen it. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. We can take a, a nice look. See if they've done it. Sorry, I had to look at another map, chat. It's too difficult. All right. This is it right down here. Look, see? See this little area here? This is this is Stonehenge. Everybody makes such a big deal about it, but it's not that interesting. Look. It just looks like a like a hay bale in a circle of hay. You know what I mean? It's like a hotel. One hotel out here as well. I'm uh, just joking. It's this. It's here. Look. See, there's the ticket office and everything. Okay, let's go in nice and low. Take a look. Okay, ready? Let's see what it looks like, chat. That's it. <laughs> it was worth it, wasn't it? It was worth the trip. <laughs> Fucking Stonehenge. <laughs> this. Wow. It's just like out in the middle of nowhere. It's out in the middle of nowhere and it's just not that interesting at all, is it? Very underwhelming. No, I'm just joking. It's pretty interesting, though. No? It's pretty good. You guys like that? It's 3,000 years old. Yeah, I know. That's crazy, eh? That's crazy. All right, so if we if we head north from Stonehenge, northwest, we have to go to Bath now, right? We got to go see Santikins in Bath. What's close to Bath? So like, is it like northwest pretty much? And Cheddar Gorge. And Bristol. Bristol we can get to from Bath. It's not far. It's not far at all. I'll hit Bristol before Bath. Okay. 
If we go to Bristol first, then, then we can make our way down to down to Bath, right? And Wigan. I don't. I can't make any promises about Wigan. Okay. We might do Wigan. And Cardiff. No, come on, not not Cardiff. Where is Bath in relation to Stonehenge? Directly west? Northwest. I thought it was northwest. Where's Warminster? It's like around here somewhere, right? You guys want to go to Warminster? And Wigan? On the A303. Which road is this? This has got to be like the A303 or something, right? Hit up Stratford. Let's go to Longleat on our way, if we can find it. Look for a forest. Look for a big forest, okay? Like a huge one. West for Longleat. We're going west. We're headed west. Where is this? Where are we flying by right now? What town is this? What town is that on, on the left? Ohio. All oh, right, okay. It's the A303. That's not Warminster, is it? Warminster's not that big. Warminster is tiny. It's like nothing to it. That could be Warminster, though. Thinking about it. Although, I don't know if it is. Because I feel like we're not far enough west, right? I don't think that's Warminster. Is it? Okay, I'll be able to tell you if it is. Oh, you know what? Longleat's like, should be fairly easy to spot, right? Because it's a huge fucking manor house. It's massive. Are you sure this is Warminster? I don't think this is. Land in, among the gorillas. Alright. I'm working on it. I don't think this is Warminster. I have been wrong in the past, though. <laughs> I have been known to be wrong. Alton Towers. No, I don't want to go there. I got sick there one time. No thanks. We gotta find. Um, we gotta find Bath. Bath will be easier to find, right? It's huge. No, we haven't done Dover. Apparently, Dover is uh, not not good. It's, it hasn't been done. I think Bath is like up here. Let me consult the old map. Hang on. Is like Bath like around here somewhere? like here and I think this is Bristol we're heading towards Bristol right now I think it's 
speed up a little bit. We did Dubai, yeah. We did Dubai yesterday? I think we did Dubai yesterday, right? More northerly. Oh, this this plane is too slow. Okay, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Icon X -ray golf. Where's this? Keeble. Okay, this is looking a little bit more promising. Where are we now? Let me open up the map. Sierra. Hang on. Cardiff approach Icon Alpha Sierra X ray golf Sierra 2600 feet. Icon Alpha Sierra X ray golf Sierra Cardiff approach continue as planned. Altimeter 29 decimal 9 or 2. I don't think this is Bristol. I thought Bristol was like up here. Bristol's huge, by the way. Where is this? One one eight decimal seven seven five for Icon X Ray Golf Sierra. Where is this? Manchester Center Icon Alpha Sierra X Ray North. Golf Sierra two thousand six hundred feet. Icon Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Manchester Center continue as planned. Altimeter two nine decimal nine or two. Manchester. Manchester. Is it like up around here somewhere? Icon X Ray Golf Sierra contact built in approach on one two two decimal seven two five. Where's this? One two is this two it? decimal seven two five icon X Ray Golf. This is Sierra. it, isn't it? Built in approach icon Alpha yeah, we're in Sierra X-ray okay. golf Sierra two thousand six hundred feet. Alright. Icon Alpha Let's have a look Sierra around. Right. So, Bristol Airport is like uh, over here somewhere, isn't it? Filton. Is that that's not? Is that it? That can't be it, can it? I thought it was like over here. Oh fuck! I don't know. I'm lost now. I'm totally lost. So going into Bristol, if we go this way, we want to head like more this way, right? Like in here. Wait, the Clifton Suspension Bridge is not in the game, right? It is not here. It just does not exist. Fucking Bristol is huge. It's in my butt. You gotta get the five pound Clifton Suspension Bridge DLC. Okay. I'll see if I can get it. I'll try to get it. Okay, so over here is, um, let me get my bearings here and then I can give you a little tour of a city that I've been to many times, but I'm still like not massively familiar with. <laughs> I just, I, I normally come in from the airport, you know? I normally come in from the airport. Wait, is this all, um, Wait, this is Cabot that we're flying over right now, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. I'll give you the scenic tour. So this is Temple Meads, like around here somewhere? Like here? This is Temple Meads? Where the train tracks are? Yes. Yes. Okay, I know where we are. Okay, so Queen Square is like just over here, isn't it? Hang on. Let me just take a quick look. Okay, yeah, that's so that's Queen Square. Okay, that's where the office is. Um, this is Temple Meads. You go up this way, and you've got Cabot Circus like up here, right? So along here somewhere is where we recorded the first um, 
the first Yogg's quest. Remember the one where I had the green wig? It was like around here. It was like in a pub around here. That's where we recorded that, if you remember. Yeah. That was a good one. That was a nice one. Let me slow down a little bit so we can look around a little bit. Okay. Alright, so Yogg Towers is like just around here. We're flying over it in a second. It's like one of these buildings in here. Right? It's like off to the side here. We're flying over it like pretty much right now. That's Queen Square. So if you come up this way... Um, you'll eventually get to Cabot. And we went to see Ghostface at a venue like along here somewhere as well. But I don't know if it's going to be modeled in. Yogg Khan was like somewhere over here, right? In like this industrial area. It's like a, it's like an old warehouse. <laughs> it's fucking so weird. I think it was like over here somewhere, wasn't it? It was like one, some, somewhere around here, I think. It was at the marble factory. Yes, that's exactly it. It, was, it took place at a marble factory. I don't know, I feel like maybe we're flying over it right now, but I could be wrong. It's kind of like on a like an island. All right, what what are some other some other sites that we can look at in Bristol? What about the uh, the statue of that um, of the of that racist man that was pulled? It was pulled down. It's like around here, right? It's on this road. I think it's like just down here. It's like, it was like here, in here. Yeah, it's like, I think the statue is, is there. That's the one that was pulled down. Okay, to give you an idea of how far they had to drag it. They pulled down the statue here. They dragged it all the way down here, all the way down here. Then they dragged it all the way along here. To this point, <laughs> where they pushed it over the edge. A, a tremendous amount of dragging a, a gigantic statue. It's a long way. It's a long way. And now he rests at the bottom of, the, um, of this like harbor area. So you've got... Um, this is like the, uh, the... like Just Chips is right here, by the way. This is Just Chips on the corner. If you ever go to Bristol... Just chips. It's right here. See? Right there. Uh, and there's like a pizza hut over here. And there's like the hippodrome. And um, what else is around here? Close by. There's uh This is like... Uh, this is a college green, right? And there's a big building here. I don't know what it is. And then there's like the big church. Further up, I think? Some big, big church. There's a park with like a cool tower in it up here. If you like walking up hills, that's a good one. If you don't like walking up hills, I don't recommend it. It can be a bit of a killer. What else is around here that's noteworthy? The office. Uh, there's a subway down here, like right there. If you like subway sandwiches. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's uh, some coffee shops and stuff. <laughs> I don't fucking know shit about Bristol, it turns out. I know a little bit, but not much. There's the zoo. The zoo is like this way. Um, Clifton Suspension Bridge is like over here. But it doesn't look like the height mapping is done around here, right? There's like some old tobacco warehouses and shit down here, like on the, the coast. Ardman, you know, the Wallace and Gromit guys have an office. Bristol. Um, the Clifton Suspension Bridge is meant to be over here. Uh, they've done a bit of the height mapping, but... Uh, look, there's the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Where those cars are floating in the air. Look. This is the one. <laughs> Duncan was showing me this yesterday. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at right now. 
Alpha's X-ray okay. Golf Sierra. Built an approach icon Alpha Sierra. Here it is. X-ray Golf okay. Sierra 500. To give you an idea of what we're looking at right icon now. Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra. Built an approach. Continue as planned. Alpha I think they nailed it, personally. I think they really nailed it. This is it. Here, look. Oh, I didn't want to do that, actually. I didn't want to look at the whole picture. I think they nailed it. I think that looks... eerily similar. You know? It's a perfect render. Yeah. But yeah, that's what hopefully it'll look like one day. It's a it's a big one. It's a it's a cool one to go on as well, actually. It's nice. Um, so that's that. Hello? I press on pause, it doesn't work. Um, which means that all up here is 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 like Clifton, which is like the um, the sort of uh, the nice, the nice part of Bristol. This is where all the, uh, this is where all the rich people used to live, and still do. It's got like a whole bunch of old like uh, estates and stuff, you know. So Bristol Zoo is like up around here somewhere too. Uh, I feel like we're flying over it right now. Actually, is that is that the zoo? No. I feel like it's like on the, it's kind of like on the edge here, right? As you come up. But maybe you can't see it very well. It can't, that I can't be it, right? It's got to be like meeting you at Insomnia 52. And I know they say you should never meet your role models, but in this case, they were right. Fuck you for snapping my legs <laughs> and shitting on my crumpled body, you sadist. Come on, that's uh, how I roll. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know where Bristol Zoo is, chat. I'm, I'm lost now. I, I thought it was up like in Clifton, the Clifton area, but I think it is, but I just don't know exactly where it is. Maybe this is it over here where there's like some more green. Maybe it's not where I thought it was. <laughs> That's fucking jumbo. Just like low flying over Clifton. That's nice. You're gonna kill yourself. It's further back. All oh, right, okay. I'm not overly familiar with Brit like I've been a couple of times, but like I don't know I don't know all of it, you know. Hey Aiden, thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's further back. It's not a here though, is it? I don't know where it is, fuck. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I can't find it. It's gotta be where there's like a bit of open area, right? Because it's like quite it's quite a big zoo. It can't be like in this built up part, right? There's definitely some open areas. They've got some penguins and stuff there too, it's nice. Go to Bath. Um where is Bath in relation to here? Hang on a second. I'll follow the roads. I think I know the roads to Bath. Hopefully. Okay. Let me let me get my bearings and, and I'll try to follow a road to bat. All right. Calibrating my bearings. Bearings cal calibrated. All right. So there's Queen Square. You want to just crash into just chips? Want to crash into just chips and play something else, or what? Dear passengers, yeah. this is your pilot speaking. If you look to your left, you will see some building. If yeah. you look to your right, you will see some trees. Right. If you look around you, you will see some other idiots who also paid twenty p for this tour. Okay, chat. I think it's this way. So, you take the motorway. Fun, fun, fun on the motorway. You don't take the motorway. This is like a, a big A road, right? So this A road brings you up here into the heart of the countryside. The road that I'm flying over right now, I think I'm familiar with. And I think this will take us straight to bat. I think this is the one. I think this is the way to get to bat. Bristol Road, that's the one, yeah. That's the one. 
Good old Bristol Road. All right. So if we go this way, and then we cut up here. Yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, I think I know where I am now. I think I know where I am. We're following this massive road all the way down to Bath. Bath is another city, yes. Bath is an, is a, an old uh, Roman city, and it still has the, um, the Roman baths there. You can go in them and have a soak. You can get a hot meal and stuff. It's really nice. Great Wall of China is not in the game, apparently. I think this is, I think, um, actually, I don't know if this is Bath coming up. I think it's a little bit further away, right? I feel like we're heading the right way. Are we heading the right way to get to Bath? This is about right. Yeah, okay, good. The right way is this way. All right, that's fine then. We'll keep following this road. The road that I'm somewhat familiar with. Having actually driven this a couple of times in my life. What's this area here then? What's all this? Is this just another little town or something? Because I would have driven right through here. I wouldn't have stopped. We would have just kept going down to Bath. Kinsham. Kinsham. Right. Jess, is that where you live? Look out your window and look up and see if you can see us flying over. Can you see us? Oh, but you lived in Bath for three years. All right, okay. One two zero decimal zero seven five icon X ray Golf Sierra. I probably would have been on the bypass. Caller and approach icon Alpha Sierra. What the coronary? Hey, Pilot McFly, thanks so much for the ten bucks, man. I appreciate it. Icon Alpha Sierra. I'm sorry that you're not impressed with the tour. I wish I could have done better. Uh, that's a niner and a niner for me as well. I noticed you throwing out quite a few niners there. I just wanted to interject and counter with my own niners. The tour needs more lore. I'm not familiar with all of this. Like, I've driven around here before, but, like, I'm not overly familiar with it, you know? I can't give you all, like, the, the deets. I can't give you all the hot deets. We're going over Waitrose right now. Fuck yeah. Bath is really nice, though. It's a really nice place. We'll fly over it. It's, uh, I'm sure it looks great from the air. I've never seen it from the air. To drive through, it's, um, it's amazing. You drive up and up and up and up, and you can just, like, at certain points, you can just look out on the whole city, and it looks fucking awesome. It's crazy. Driving through Bath is a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. It is a little bit. You're right. The roads aren't, like, really straightforward, are they? We end up getting lost quite a bit. It's part of the fun, but... It also gives you an excuse to yell at your family more than you already do, right? Well, maybe I would have taken the turn if... <laughs> you could bust out a whole bunch of those ones. All right, I think I think I I think I recognize this. You come down here and there's like a, this this road that's like sort of directly in front of me or above my plane right now is the way that I would normally come into Bath, right? So you drive up here and then there's like this wall on the right side and you drive along like some water and then like right in like the center you've got like all the all the main sites, right? There's your fucking house. Nice. Okay, good. We must be in the right place. All right, Santikins. Do a little wave. We've arrived. We're in Bath. 
We can see you. We're all waving at you from inside the tour plane. All right, Santikins, where's your house? We're going to land right in front of it and come and pick you up. Wiggle the wings. Okay. All right. Can you see me? Can you see me up there? Okay. I haven't actually been to any of these places, but I think, like, the the famous, like, uh, Roman baths and stuff are, like, around here. Uh, they're, like, we're flying over them in a minute. It's, like, on this, like, this, this, like, inner bit. This is, like, downtown, right? This, this bit's, like, the downtown bit. So I think it's, like, around here. I think we're kind of, like, flying over the area right now. To, to the left, apparently. Yeah. See, I know a little bit. I just don't... I don't know much. Beautiful around here, though, isn't it? Look at this. Fuck. Bath looks great. It looks really good. Let's see the view you get, like, from the other side of the city. You see all this. You see all these houses, like, in the hills, and it looks fucking awesome. Holy shit. It kind of looks crappy. What are you talking about? This is beautiful. Even in this game, it's it's actually rendered out pretty well. It looks pretty good. Look at this. You got some big, big whirly wooblers down here. And you got the chief constable of Wigglebottom visits here. And you got the uh, Avon Slouth Slipper Flippers. And, you know, all the old English names. It's really good. It's all like built into the hills and stuff. It's fucking awesome. Look at this. We're doing some nice flybys here. Doing some doing some beautiful flybys. Look at that. All built into the side there. Ah, oh, it's great. What a place. I could live in Bath. I could, I could for sure live in Bath. It's nice. It's really nice. There's some nice little, like, places just outside of Bath, too. Like, like the old little, like, uh, towns that have, like, 50 people in them and stuff. They have, like, all these old fucking bridges and shit. It's awesome. Whoop. I'm having a stall here. We're going to have to increase the speed a little. Go up to Glasgow. I've never been to Scotland before in my life, so I'd be completely unfamiliar with it. Apparently Dublin is worth going to, though. Should we go check out Dublin? All right, Santikins, we're coming in for a landing. Open your front door. Prepare to receive. Santikins, I'm guessing, lives, like, right here. Is this about right? Guess who's home? <laughs> Shit. Okay. Let's go to Dublin. We'll go check it out. Visit Belfast. Which one's better? Which one's better, Belfast or Dublin? Wait, I don't want to start this argument in the chat, actually. Let's just go to Dublin, okay? Newgrange? Dublin International. Dublin International. Look, there's a couple of people here already flying around. See, look, it's a couple of peeper, people. Okay, I'll be honest with you, though. I'm not familiar with Dublin, so you're going to have to guide me. From the airport, which direction do I need to go to get to the city? East. All right, east. Okay, everybody, uh, gather around, um, get your four leaf clovers and your pineapples and cheese on a stick and prepare for a good old fashioned Irish tour. That's right. We're flying over Dublin today. Um, we're going to be taking off from Dublin International Airport, heading east, right over Dublin, the city of Dublin. Um... And if you have a, 
Prepare for a good feckin' time. If you do indeed have a good feckin' time on this tour, um, maybe consider buying me a tall, frothy glass of dark, beautiful Guinness. Please. Um, I have, uh, my stomach is like a bottomless pit. I can, I can, I can handle it. Just, just give me, give it all to me. Give, give me all of it. I like a machine. I'm a machine. And also subscribe. Make sure that you ring a ling a ding ding dong the bell and uh, all Tally that shit as well. Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra ready at runway two eight straight out departure. Okay, are we ready? We're ready for a. We're ready for a good old fashioned Irish tour of Dublin, heading eastward once we've taken off. The western western runway of Dublin International Airport. Yes. Is this a boat? Yes, we can land on the water in this. It's a it's a boat plane. South. I heard east. South. Okay, we're gonna head south then. More people are saying south than that one guy who said east that I believe. So. So we want to go south. Southeast. Okay. Gotcha. So we want to like turn around here. All right. Welcome to Dublin, you fucking grass holes. Here we are. Heading straight for the Tower of Dublin. What is that big tower? Is that part of Dublin? Is that a, uh, like an iconic? I've never been to Ireland before. The Spire, okay. My name is Captain Sully Sullenberger and quite frankly you suck dick at this you dick sucker. Why don't you listen to me, a real pilot, tell you how to fly? Do right. you know about flaps? Or nope. how to squawk? No. Can you emergency land in the Hudson River? I can. Yeah. I can as well. I've done it. Okay. Thanks Sully. for coming for lunch. Thanks. I'll be cleaning up the front garden for days. <laughs> you made such a mess. Less than three. Santikins, thanks for having us. That was good fun. It was we, we we eventually made it to Bath and it was great. We did a little Bristol tour as well. We're now in Dublin. Visiting uh, what people here refer to as the Spire, or the Spire? No? A bit racist? I'm sorry. I just, I get carried away sometimes. No? Not the Spire. All oh, right, okay. Not the Spire? No? Unsubbed, come on. Come on. It's good. Surely you can handle more racism than that before you unsub. No? The Donegal, the Donegal Airport is voted the world's most beautiful landing. Oh, I'll we'll have to go find it then. Where's, where's D Donegal is like sort of like, uh, like, like the northwestern coast of Ireland, right? You can't really say north of Ireland because then everybody just thinks Northern Ireland, right? It's like northwest, yeah. Dublin Tower Icon Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Frequency Change. Uh, roger that, uh, Dublin Tower. This Dublin is, uh, um, Alpha, Sierra, Alpha Golf, Zulu Sierra Foxtrot. Pee Wee Herman Sierra. I am, uh, Request currently flying towards a gigantic stick that is, uh, Alpha, Sierra, Golf, Sierra, Dublin, what is this thing? Squawk 7743. Why am I so cringe? What the hell? Squawk 7743, that's not very nice to say. Fuck. Look at this, it's beautiful around here. Look at this. I know what they've done. I know what they've done. They're trying to do their own Washington Monument here, aren't they? They tried, they stole the Washington Monument from Washington DC inside the game. Cause I'm pretty sure it uses the same texture. It is, isn't it? It is. Here it is, look. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's the Washington Monument all over again. That is weird, isn't it? That is weird. All right. Direct me, chat. All you Dubliners. Is this what? Okay, th this looks like a football field t coming up. Who plays here? Who plays at this one? It's Yankee Stadium. Right. The dubs. The dub <laughs> the Dublin dubs. Okay. Maybe they don't even have a team. Maybe they just built a stadium hoping to attract a team. And just some local youth use it until a team is formed. Something like that. You know? Just some crazy youths use it. Look at this. This is pretty fucking cool, actually. Look at it. Do you think, um, do you think that they've rendered out Dublin all right? Or what? Anybody from Dublin in the chat? No? It's a 10 out of 10. It's not bad. Okay, good. I like this big canal here. This is really good. Lots of bridges. There's lots of bridges. Who dares admit they're from Dublin? Is that a... Th okay. I don't know much about Dublin, I'll be honest. This is my first time uh, seeing it inside a video game. You're in Dublin and it looks good. That yeah, looks alright. I think it looks pretty nice. Everybody thinks that the city that they live in is shit though, right? Well, most people do. It's like a, a common common thing to not like where you live, right? I used to think Ottawa was shit, but when we were flying around it the other day, I thought it was fucking beautiful. You love your city, good. More people should love their city, right? What's this, chat? Oh, that looks good. What is that? This is like some fucking lakeside park. St. Stephen's Green. Is it as nice as it looks? Your city sucks. It's like a central park. Uh, it sprawls out quite a bit, doesn't it? Holy crap. What's the population of Dublin? It's got to be about like 5 million or something, right? It looks huge. There's 69 people. About a million. Alright, okay. So, are parts of this not part of Dublin then? Like, the, it sprawls out and then turns into different parts or whatever? Ireland is 5 million in total. What? <laughs> it's kind of big. Well, there's only 5 million people there? I mean, having said that, look at the size of Canada. There's only like 35, 40 million people there, so... I guess. Oh, shit. You know what we still need to do? We need to do... Uh, we still need to do Alaska. We haven't done it yet. We need to scope out places for dudes in. Oh, and you know what else we need to do? We haven't done for a while. We need to get some fucking romantic sunsets up in this bitch. Oh, look at this! At night! That looks great! That looks pretty good. Holy shit. That's impressive. That is nice. Look, we got a beautiful sunset. Dude Sim 2021. Is the FPS shit? Uh, no, not for me. Is it for you? Is it like stuttering a bit? It's fine for me. A little bit. What about this? That's better. Look at that, chat. Some of the lights are just coming on. The sun is setting. Oof. Oof. 
That's nice. That is nice. Can you crash into other players? No, I don't think you can. You want me to land in the river? Okay, I'll do it. That's an easy one. We can we can easily land in this river. I'm going full flaps. Famous last words? Nah, no, come on. We just gotta make sure we land in between bridges, because the you can't go under bridges in this game. It's not allowed. All right, here we come. Uh, Dublin Tower. This is um, roast beef, um, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, um, pickle sandwich. I'm uh, coming in for a huge landing. Um, I've slowed right down and I got my flaps at half mast. And uh, I'm uh, requesting a uh, landing over and out. Roger that one. Various condiments and a pickle sandwich. You are clear to land. Thanks. The TCS Tiger's Claw. Uh, TCS Tiger's Claw. This is uh, Wing Commander number one. I am uh, ready to come in for a huge landing on the Tiger's Claw. Can you uh, confirm that? Oh, Roger Dodger, that one. Uh, you can come in for a big old landing if you're ready. Thank you very much. Okay, goodbye. Sully. Here we go. Ready? We have touchdown. We're going pretty fast, but hopefully the water will slow us down. Slow us down, water. Not the bridge. We might have to just gently go up and over this bridge. Perfect. Now that's what I call a landing. Textbook, yeah, absolutely. There's some de de definitely some height mapping issues. Also, uh, looks like some flooding that you can't see from the air. But but overall, pretty good. I thought Dublin was all right, actually. It's pretty good, no? Curvy water. Yeah, I don't know what the water's doing. Look, we were going like up a water hill here perfect all right let's do one more and then we'll do uh we'll do something fun we'll do uh, like a surprise thing uh and then i'll have some lunch and then we'll we'll play something else when i get back from lunch okay we'll do we'll do an, we'll do alaska we'll do something something different and something fun and maybe exciting as well and then i'll go for lunch and then when we get back we're gonna play something different it's a surprise all right don't worry, we're not done with Flight Simulator. We're just probably done with it for like the next couple of days because there's some other stuff that we want to play, right? Okay, where are we going? Alaska. How do you like... Okay, that's fine. We want to go up to... Where do we want to go to? Like Anchorage International? McNeil Cove? Chinitna Bay, Grizzly Bears. Oh. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed Dublin. You landed yeah. five minutes walk from my home. Watch out for the feral youths roaming the streets. Okay. Isep, thanks so much for the donation, man. Santikins, thanks again. Sully Sullenberger, thanks so much for the donations. Uh, Dublin was cool. Uh, I didn't see any feral youths while I was there, but... Look, we're in Alaska now. We're going to scope out Alaska, and we're going to try to find some grizzly bears. We're looking for them. Ozlad, thanks for the five gift subs, man. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Find the aliens. Okay, I'll try. Oh. 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 Interesting. Okay. I will still adhere though. Right. Sipsco, Alaska Tower. You are cleared runway 13 to Shafter Airport via the Moron Waypoint at or above 5,620 feet. 
Fly heading of 260 on departure and expect flight level 420, 1-5 minutes after departure. Squawk 7500, full read back required. Ask uh, <laughs> Rowdy Dog 1, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Listen, welcome to Alaska. This is where it all begins. We're scoping out. The tires aren't looking too good here. They're not in good shape. Look, they're like, looks like they're about to fall off. A good old Alaskan plane. You want some snow for Alaska? Come on, it's summertime. There's no snow in the summertime. Okay. I set my destination for the grizzly bears, but where is it? It has... I hate when it does this. Look, where's my where's my destination for the grizzly bears? It hasn't updated my flight path. Beast. It's so annoying. Oh, look at this place, chat. You're gonna be dude simming it up out here. You're gonna love it. Anchorage Center Icon Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is type icon A51 miles go west east. of Papa Alpha India Lima. Request flight following. Icon Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Anchorage Center. We want to find Squawk some grizzlies. Where are the bears? Squawk 7663 Icon X-ray Golf Sierra. Where are the bears? Icon X-ray Golf Sierra radar contact one mile north of Papa Alpha India. Altimeter two niner decimal niner two. What a east. Copy icon golf Here we go. We got some snow here now. Look, we're doing a winter, a winter three two five niner. Okay, where are the bears? Are they always in the same place? We got the authentic Alaska experience. Yeah, we got to change the sun though. It's like... There we go. That's good. Well, look at this. Fuck. Live weather will revert it back to summer, right? We're going to go see if we can see some bears. Should be just like over here somewhere. Some grizzly bears. The bears are hibernating. No, no, I changed the weather on the fly. They don't know. You can see one? Where? Where do you see one? I don't see any. On the screen. Oh, that one. Good one, chat. I thought you said that you saw one, like, on the... Not, not, not me. I thought, I, you know, that. That's rude. That's very rude. Your attitude is very rude, dude. Man, look at Alaska. It looks great. Some cloud coverage and stuff. What a place. I need to visit Alaska at some point. Behind me. What? Oh my god. There's quite a few people here. We're going to scare all the bears away. You got to get your two in check, dude. You gotta realign your two, dude. Find some ice road truckers. I don't see any out here. I don't see any bears either. Apparently you can see grizzly bears out here. 
Look at the mountains in the distance, chat. Beautiful. You know what else we should we should do as well? Um, oh, you can't do it from here. Can you? Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. Australia has not been done yet, no. We have done New Zealand, though. New Zealand has been done. We've done New Zealand. Have I found the pyramids yet? Yeah, we did the pyramids already, yeah. We've, we've done quite a few places now. We've had a good look around. It's been nice. We haven't done the Amazon rainforest, actually. We need to do that still. That's up there on the list of places to go. It'd be interesting to fly around Colombia and stuff as well, no? It's, like, really beautiful around there. Lisbon. We could do Lisbon. Yeah, Lisbon would be good. Okay, let's go in for a nice landing. Okay, we're going to go in for a nice landing. And then uh, we're going to just chill in the water and we're going to do something. Okay? We're going to do something nice. You know what? Maybe we should have gone to a different part of the world for this, actually. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe it's not too late. Although this is beautiful. Should I go to a, a more fitting part of the world? Do you think? Okay. Try to guess what I'm going to do then. If I say to you we're going to go to Australia. Where's, what, what's, the, what's the best way, place to look at, at in Australia from a plane? Just Sydney? Just out in Sydney? What about the Barrier Reef? Oh, I didn't put my flaps all the way down. The Barrier Reef. We could go there. <laughs> oh my god. What a flip. I don't know what it is about this plane landing on the water, but I just find it looks fucking incredibly realistic. Like, it just looks so good. Look at the scenery around here, too. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at this. Amazing. No? Okay. Let me turn off the old engine here. Okay. Right. Give me two seconds. Let me double check something. Um, what is it? It is, uh, okay. Hang on. Two seconds. Let me just see. Okay. All right. We're ready to rock and roll, okay? Okay. Chat. Do we want the, the big cam? Does it matter? Big cam? Hang on a second. What's going on with this big cam? Okay. Big cam? Big cam. Bigger cam? Oh. Oh! Look at all the junk down in the corner there. Okay. Kind of bigger cam? All right. Ready? Okay. I've got something for you. Look at this! Look at this box! Look! It's a Planet Zoo box! You like this? Huh! Handle with care! Right. The reason for this is... Um, Planet Zoo just announced uh, some new DLC, right? For uh, they, they're doing an Australia pack. There's some there's some Australian animals coming to Planet Zoo, and they sent me some stuff. All right, in this box. We're gonna open it. They told me not to open it, but I'm allowed to open it now. So we'll take a quick look and see what's inside, shall we? I'm just gotta undo it here. It's like it's 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 an ad, but it's not an ad. I'm not being paid for this. They just sent me some stuff, right? 
That's... I don't think it's really an ad. They just sent me a box. I'm too quiet. I'm far away from the mic. All right, hang on a second. Let me adjust myself here so that I can be actually kind of comfortable. Right. Ready? Re ready? No? Okay. This is the box. Do you want to see the box? Yeah, Planet Zoo box. Handle with care. Right? It's got, like, the logo on it. It's got, like, this fake palette at the bottom. See this? No? Good? All right. Let's open it up, shall we? We'll see what's inside. Oh, nice. Very good. Oh, the whole thing, like, opens up. Hang on a second here. Just take this out. This is nice. This is real nice, actually. Holy shit. Okay. The whole thing opens up into, like, a big map. I know you can't really see this, but look. Oh, oh, look! Look at him! Hey, look at him! Oh, look at him! Hang on a second. This is... A koala. Um, this, yeah. It says, Koalas rarely drink, getting almost all the water they need from their eucalyptus diet. It's just like me. That's exactly how I roll. F fucking crazy, right? No? Okay, hang on. So that that's that's one thing anyway. That's come out. That's come out of there. Look, the rest of the box. Look at this. Look at it. It's like a fucking it opens up like a map and then it look, I can't even look. Like Okay? Uh, just a, nice yeah okay good right I'm undoing the ribbon now I'm undoing the ribbon what's inside oh my god oh my gosh um it, it looks it I think it's a maxi pad I, I have no use for this, but thanks anyway. I mean, it's great. A charge play base. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, it rapidly charges up two devices. It's a QI wireless charger. Um, I guess one of the devices that I need to uh, charge is this. HyperX Pulsefire Dart. No? I like free stuff. I got. I'll, I'll. I'll be honest with you. When people send me stuff, I'm all for it. A gaming grade performance with QI wireless charging. No. You guys don't like free stuff. You're crazy. And an empty box that says Planet Zoo Australia pack on it. Oh. Hello, welcome to the Outback. To celebrate our upcoming Australia pack for Planet Zoo, we've teamed up with our friends at HyperX to bring you some extra special goodies that make that will make your journey down under even better. There you go. There you go. That's pretty nice, isn't it? A new mouse. A new mouse. And a, a wireless charger for the mouse. Yeah. And let us not forget, chat. Where is he? This guy as well. Man, my daughter's gonna love this. She'll she'll steal it for sure. There's no way he's gonna last in here. Not even for two seconds. But that's nice, isn't it? Good? No? Yes? I thought that was really nice, no? I like getting free stuff in the mail. I like getting, like, branded boxes and shit in the mail as well. You know what? I never get shit like this. Uh, you know, everybody's too busy worrying about, you know, like, uh, Tim the Tatman and stuff. And they always forget the little guy. Well, not this time. They didn't forget the little guy this time. Look, they sent him a cool box. That's right. Yeah, okay, maybe I did win at Fall Guys, but I got a box with some gaming gear in it. And a plushie as well. So there. Yeah. He's 
totally gone and done it. It's very nice. Yeah. No, that's pretty good, isn't it? Do you like that? Is that good or what? No? This is the first time you made it to a live stream? Man, you just got to, you you came just in time. I was just opening some goodies from Planet Zoo. So the so the news is that there's um the Australian pack, right? For uh, Planet Zoo, which is um hang on a second, let me just take a quick look here cuz it's been announced. Uh Australia pack is coming on the 25th of August. With Planet Zoo, we've traveled far and wide across the globe and we've yet to Travel down under. We're on our way to explore the natural splendor and intrigue of the Australian outback to take in the beautiful wildlife and, of course, meet brand new animals. Nice. We're thrilled to announce the Planet Zoo Australia pack arriving alongside a free update on the 25th of August. I understand that since we last played this, they've removed refunds from the game, <laughs> which I'm sure has helped out. Meet our five marvelous iconic animals that will be making an appearance. The curious koala, handsome red kangaroo, the cunning dingo, uh, the striking southern ca cassowary. Cassowary? Am I pronouncing that right? I don't think I've ever needed to pronounce that word before in my life. Like, I, I'm familiar with the word, but I don't know if I've actually said it right. Um, and the inquisitive eastern blue-tongued lizard. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, Chet Weems, thanks for the 10 gift subs, man. Appreciate it. Uh, these five animals represent their own challenges, which will require learning how to best take care of them to ensure their health and well-being. These new additions also arrive alongside over... Oh, this is what... This is it. The animals, sure. 230 new scenery and building pieces. Two hundred and thirty. That's pretty good, actually. That include eye-catching construction pieces that are designed to feature uh, upcycled materials that evoke the wonder of contemporary Australian architecture. Contemporary Australian architecture consists of I don't even know what, but uh, it should be interesting anyway, right? Yeah. As well as the new spectacular fauna and flora will have your animals feeling like they're back in the outback no matter which biome they're in. All right, seven ninety nine, uh, and it releases on the twenty fifth of August. We, we we're probably due to play Planet Zoo again at some point anyway, um, so maybe we will. Yes, it's been a while, and uh, I think the game's been updated and changed. There's been a couple of DLCs since we last played as well, right? There's the uh, the Arctic pack, there's the South America pack, and uh, now this as well, the Australia pack. I will play some Planet Zoo. We're due to go back to it anyway, right? Uh, I mean, we're, we, we're, we're probably after playing Flight Sim, getting in, getting back into let's make things uh, out of rocks and trees and some habit. Like, you know what I mean? Like when, when you're flying in a plane and you're looking down, I don't know if you're anything like me, but uh, I always think oh, I can't wait to play Sim City or whatever, right? You know, like. I can't, I want to go home and play city skylines or, or whatever. And, you know, planet coaster planet zoo, like those sort of creative type games, you know, where you can build stuff and plan things out and everything. So we're probably, we're probably do one, right? Yeah. No, maybe I got to show that to my daughter. She's going to love it. Holy crap. Well, anyway, uh, thank you. Planet zoo. That's great. Fucking new mouse. Pretty nice with a charger. And a nice little plush as well in in a in a beautifully presented uh, themed box. You who could ask for more, right? That's great. Like I said, I don't often get stuff like that, so when I do get stuff like that, it's it's quite a treat. It's nice, cool. Uh, okay, well we will play that for sure, right? We'll have to do it. Um, okay. In other news, um, guess what else is. Uh, out of embargo today we've had some can you guess can you guess yet oh oh <laughs> yeah we can play this today by the way uh it's it's ready to go 1 p.m was the uh was the embargo for t uh today and uh and we could do it we can finally do it we can we can peter pennywhacker can make his golfing debut 
in finally a golf game on the PC. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited to play some golf. I am up for some golf. I it's been we haven't played any golf. We played Golftopia, which probably set set the scene for it, right? You're so excited for some golf. Don't be so excited for golf, but definitely be excited for Peter pa Pennywacker in his golfing career mode, right? Uh, also, I think uh, when this game, I think when Crendor can get this game, because it comes out in like a couple of days. I think it's out like in two days or something like that. Um, and he picks it up. He's challenged me to a golfing career. So we're, th there's a competition involved as well against uh, Crendor. Yes. Peter, Penny, P Peter Pennywacker retired from football and is now golfing. Yes, his knees are fucked. So he's, he's decided to do some golfing instead. From Bristol City to golf. Yes. Should we try it out? We'll try it out for a bit. Maybe create create my character or something. And then um, and then I'll go for lunch. And when we get back, we'll, um, we'll shoot some balls. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Man, Flight Simulator is great. I've enjoyed playing it. We'll come back to it for sure as well. Let's come back to it after there's been a couple of updates. We'll go to places that I said we'd go to that we haven't been to yet. And then hopefully they update like London and a couple of places. We could do those as well. Be awesome. But uh, I'm I'm super impressed with Flight Simulator. It's fucking awesome. It's really good. You'd rather rub your balls, right? Okay. Sure, sure. Is there an update coming out for tomorrow? How do you know? You can buy London for eight pounds now. What already? Jeez. That's not right. That that's not right, is it? That can't be right. Okay. Should we try this? I, I fucking... I'm always scared, like... I don't know if you guys remember years ago, City Skylines. Um, I, was a, un, I was unaware of the embargo, or I'd forgotten it. And I posted up uh, a video of me playing City Skylines. Uh, and it was, it was pretty bad. I felt terrible. It was like a week before the embargo was up or something. <laughs> Uh, and now, ever since then, I've been, I'm like paranoid. Like I'm like double, triple checking to make sure that like it's right and everything. And I'm always like dreading an email coming through from somebody saying "fuck you, fuck you." The embargo, you forgot about it. I think it's fine though, right now. I think I think I got this all right, so it should be okay. Um, right. Peter Pennywacker is back for a uh, golf career golf gold career golf i can't spell golf career all right so this is pga tour 2k21 all right i have not played this yet i got a code for it the other day um 2k gave me a code for this well i'm supposed to say as well um for legal reasons i, I don't know maybe we can make a command or something Anyway, they they gave they gave me a code for the game. It's like the deluxe version or whatever, and this game releases in two days. So it's like uh like uh it's like an early an early look at it. But I have not played it, so I can I can't tell you if it's good or not. I don't know. I haven't played it. I've got the key for it, but this is the first time I've launched it. Yeah, it's not sponsored. I'm not being paid to play it. That's the difference, though. If somebody gives you their product for free and says, here you go, enjoy, it's not sponsored. If they give you the product and they're like, well, we'll pay you, like, you know, some money to play it as well, then it's sponsored. Then you have to, like, tell people about it. 